Hi everybody, this is Roland again, Barbecue Smokers, Crows, Brasselton, Georgia. I got a couple text messages on the last video and people were saying, you didn't explain all the service really well. So I will go back and try to explain everything that maybe I forgot to talk about. Okay, first of all, you gotta keep these washed, cleaned, just like your car. Okay, wax it, polish it, clean it, armor all the rims and tires, just like my pickup. I keep it clean, waxed, and washed. Same thing here. Over here, you have a Zerk Grease Fit nipple on both sides. Just a little bit of grease goes a long way. If you fill that up, this whole thing gets hot and grease will drip down. You can see a little bit of the marks here from the last owner. So grease everything. Number two, obviously keep your tanks full. That's gonna be your main tank, that's your backup tank. I put a little grease inside of the Bulldog hitch. That's where your ball will go, keeps things a little bit better. Put a little oil grease over there, a little oil grease in there, they pivot on hinges. Inside here, you have quick release valves. I don't know if you can see this. This goes into here. I took these out to show. This is getting ready to uh, be hauled to California and it might get real cold up in the Rockies. So disconnect here and the bottom one, this one here, would get disconnected there. That will drain all the water out of the system as you can see. Down here is your battery. I normally disconnect the positive, keep it to the side so the battery doesn't die out. Hot water heater, I normally keep the cord up here. I don't want it dangling in the water in the bottom. Obviously stainless steel sinks, use some stainless steel cleaner, keep them clean. That's pretty much it. I mean, you can put some oil on the hinges here if you like. Now, we replaced this hot water here. This is brand new. It's very easy to replace everything. You put a hex key here, and two nuts inside, you can order these parts and they're direct replacements. We also replaced the water pump. The old one wasn't pressurized in the way I wanted, got a brand new one. This is a flow jet, excellent, excellent quality, same thing. All you have to do, hex key here, nuts inside, comes right out. Tires are tires, inside those caps are grease nipples, which we've greased, but again, that needs to be maintenanced. Now someone said that they want us to show them how to start this from scratch. Well, this has been sitting here outside now for probably two, three hours. So again, let's go in here. That is your pilot light. That's your thermocoupler. You're going to light the pilot light, which then puts a flame on the thermocoupler, which puts, uh, it's like an electrical charge or something into your valve. Now, we took this one out to show it to you easier. This is your thermocoupler. Goes into your valve. This is your pilot light. This is the gas from the tank. This is the hose gas with an air regulator which goes into the big burner inside your corn roaster. This is like way advanced, but I wanted to give you your money's worth. Do not pour water in here. No, 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 that goes into the burners. Keep this clean. Dust it, obviously spider webs, whatever. Just keep it clean. Here's a spider web right here. We're gonna get rid of it. So get rid of spider webs and all that other stuff. Keep that clean. Okay, so we're gonna start this from scratch. You can see there's no flame there. It's a very windy day, so bear with me. Obviously, this is turned up. That's closed. That's open. Means the gas follows the valve. This is closed. We're going to turn it to the middle. I'm going to try to do this. It's going to be really hard with, a, with one hand here. I don't know how we're going to do this. Well, I'm going to just trust me here. I'm going to hold this down and hold at the pilot light. So gas is going there, it takes a couple of minutes. Well, excuse me, probably 15, 20 seconds. Let me try to light that, hold on.
Sorry to put you down, the phone down, but that's the way it is. Okay, can you see the pilot light? We lit that. Hold the pilot light burner down for about 20, 30 seconds. That's gonna heat up the thermocoupler. I'm gonna release the pilot light button now. Hopefully the pilot light stays on. It's very windy here. Yes, it's staying on. That means the thermocoupler is hot, sending a signal to open the valve. And so we're gonna turn this to the left, and there it goes. And you can see the flame, it's really windy here. So obviously, use one of these, don't use a little match, you'll burn yourself. Okay, we're gonna close the door just so you can see more. And there's your flame. That's open. Now we're gonna close the gas just to pilot light. You can still see the pilot light now. Now we're gonna turn this full open. And there it goes. To turn this off totally, you're gonna to turn this so the pilot goes to pilot light. Push it in just a little bit and turn. That shuts everything off. Does that shut everything off? going up is pilot light, all the way to the left is uh, full gas. And we're gonna shut this off also. Keep these doors open, helps with the airflow to your air regulator. I hope that helped everybody there. Obviously there's a grease nipple here. And I would probably squirt a little oil in these locks. So that's your Corn roaster video sink setup. Again, we can turn this off and we're going to shut it off. Just follow the knob, it says close. We're going to close that. How's that? So, if you're interested in a corn roast, a potato roast, a sweet potato roast, give us a call, holler, text 770 866 2561. We're building a green one right now for someone, a stainless steel one, and a red one is after that. We're probably right now six to eight weeks out. We do have parts constantly on order. Give us a call, holler, text. The season will be here. Corn roast on, barbecue on, and sweet potato on. Thanks again.